When Space Shuttle 3 left the launch pad, it carried an experiment prepared by 18-year-old Todd Nelson of Rose Creek, Minnesota. An experiment to study the effects of weightlessness on insects in space. It's called the Shuttle Student Involvement Project and includes NASA, the National Science Teachers Association, and industry sponsors who help transform winning proposals into flight experiments. Since this first flight, young people in high schools around the country have developed and flown a variety of experiments, ranging from medical projects to the study of zero gravity on an ant colony. They are setting an example for others who may be encouraged to pursue careers in science and engineering, something that ultimately can be translated into technological leadership for the U.S. Twelve weeks passed. Then, astronauts Ken Mattingly and Henry Hartsfield piloted Columbia on its fourth and final test flight. The spacecraft's performance made it possible to certify the space transportation system a fully operational carrier. As they landed on July 4th, the crew was greeted by President and Mrs. Reagan. Space Shuttle 5, the first operational flight. Two commercial communications satellites were hauled into orbit, one for satellite business systems and one for Telesat of Canada. Their deployment was a complete success. Obviously. I got it. Okay. Space Shuttle 6 was the second operational mission and Flight 1 for Challenger, this country's newest spacecraft. After launching a 5,000-pound tracking and data relay satellite from the payload bay, mission specialist astronauts Story Musgrave and Donald Peterson became the first Americans in nine years to walk in space. Practice needed for satellite repair work. I'm due for my massive article. Rotate around to get it on the right side. Story? Yeah. Tape caddy up here where it says tape on the left-hand door? Yeah. Mission 7 carried a crew of five into space, including America's first woman astronaut, Sally Ride. For main engine start, we have main engine start and ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of STS-7 and America's first woman astronaut. And the shuttle has cleared the tower. She and mission specialists John Fabian and Norm Thagard deployed a pair of communication satellites for Canada and Indonesia. Roger that, looks great. Shuttles 1 and 2 were now operational, with the addition of a third orbiter, Discoverer, to the fleet, and with literally dozens of astronauts in training at any given time, this new space transportation system would begin delivering in earnest and with increasing frequency. Opening a new era in science is Space Lab, where scientists from around the world work together in a unique international research center aboard NASA's Space Shuttle. Built by the European Space Agency, Space Lab is creating exciting new opportunities for research in all the sciences and is making routine international cooperation a reality. Looking farther ahead, there's the Space Telescope that will expand our vision almost to the edge of the universe. The shuttle gives the United States an unrivaled tool for the practical use of space. Historically, the space program has proceeded in a building block fashion. And toward that end, NASA has begun looking at the next logical step, a possible future space station, a permanent presence in space. The station would serve as a scientific and technological laboratory, as well as an operations base from which satellites could be serviced and large structures assembled. One of the highest priorities is to develop a clear understanding of a station's proper role in the total space program so that if and when it is proposed for development, the station will be a truly significant national asset, one that would ensure continued American preeminence in space. The space program in general, and the shuttle program in particular, going a long way to help our country recapture its spirit of vitality and confidence. The pioneer spirit still flourishes in America. In the future, as in the past, 
Our freedom, independence, and national well-being will be tied to new achievements, new discoveries, and pushing back new frontiers. We must look aggressively to the future by demonstrating the potential of the shuttle and establishing a more permanent presence in space. The 25th anniversary of NASA. To a casual observer, NASA is identified by launch vehicles and spacecraft and airplanes and wind tunnels. But it is the people behind it all who are really important. It's the people who think and dream and work to make these things possible. That is the true measure of NASA's strength and its successes. And it is to the next generation of space pioneers, the youth of the world, that this program is dedicated. <laughs>